Hi everyone, welcome to this beginner level tutorial on Azure Resource Groups. In this video, we will be covering the basic of what an Azure Resource Group is and why we need one and how to create and manage one. In previous video, we have talked about what is Azure and what is Azure subscription and how to create them. In this one, let's talk about what is an Azure Resource Group. So an Azure Resource Group is a way to organize and manage Azure resources. It is a container, logical containers that hold related resources and allow us to control and manage them together. We will see some of the snapshot and we can think it is like a folder on our computer and hard disk where we put a related files and allow them to keep organized. Right? So similar to that one, this is a logical con container where we put different type of resources based on different policies or different understanding, different components. And let's see the sum up example of this so we can have a clear understanding of resource group. So if you see that in the top of uh, Azure account, when we have an Azure account, there will be one or more subscription. And if you have seen that video, there can be different subscription for different reason and we can organize by differently based on our need. And then one subscription can have one or multiple resource group where we can have one or multiple resources inside resource group. So let's see why we can have that. And if you see this example in pre prod subscription and prod subscription, we can have, suppose we are maintaining two application or developing two application app A and app B, then in pre prod resources, uh, pre prod subscription, we can have a app A dev resource group and app B dev resource group where we have access and we are working. And then when development is finished, we are going to move to production subscription and there will be two more resource group inside production subscription where these resources for this application, all the resources which are required for this application and go ahead and deploy. So that is one way to use that resource group. If you see that by environment wise, also we can distinguish by production, by development, by test. RG can have for test also, RG can be divided by a business unit. If HR has that one, we can divide by a subscription or by a resource group also, by application A, B, C, all this we can divide by a both by combining subscription and resource group, we can have different uh, way for organization of our resources. We can have like similar to one, if we suppose uh, we can have prod finance resource group where all the related component for that uh, application which go ahead and see it and dev finance will be there, marketing will be there and dev marketing will be there. That's how we use resource group to organize our resources. Let's see what are the different benefits for using Azure resources and might be we have already guessed that it, it will improve our visibility to see which resources are related and how they interact with each other. Right. We can use this way to manage our cost like hey, if this is Deb uh, RG, then can we see that and why this is so much costing can we stop services in night or weekend slot of things we can do depending upon that. And there are different restrictions to limit based on resource group also and subscription also, which we have seen in previous video. Then we can use this different combination to scale our resources also. And resource group, whenever we will create resource group, we can tag that one so that we can, when billing will come, we can see tag by billing also. If you want to search by tag and we can organize by tag, tag is also a part. And the another is access control. We can give the access on the source group to any, like DM team wants to have dev resource group access, we can give them or somebody has supposed to manage production resources, they will have only product resource group access, right? That's how we can also manage that one. And access control allow us to grant or restrict access to resources within a group so that we can do that. These are the few anatomy of Azure resource group is there. Now let's go ahead and create an Azure resource group and see how it looks like. Once you have Azure account and subscription and you start creating resources, you have if you go to create a resources, like suppose we want to create a web app, then you have to provide which subscription you are. And in previous video, we talked about subscription, right? And in this video, in PPT section, we talked about what is the resource group. So if you have any resource group, you can select that one or you can create a resource group like test or something, whatever name I have talked about that, uh, how to organize depending upon app, depending upon your business needs or depending upon things. So always whenever you are going to create any resource inside Azure, you have to provide these two details and then few more which will be covered into next videos like uh, location, region and tags and other things. 
so once you create that one uh, this is since that uh, i can show you that subscription how generally for demo i have just given the random names for resource group if you see that uh, software uh, adf demo i was doing is the adf demo software cosmos demo if you go into adf demo so demo related resources i have created inside that resource group and there are multiple resource group if we cosmos demo i have created cosmos db inside that one and uh, streaming demo uh, there was another demo we did so there was all that's related to streaming demo all the resources are there uh, now we can have if we are doing some project then you can have for that component dev resources will be there uh, prod resources pp resources all will be there and depending upon that you can have one or multiple subscription where you want to manage that one so this is what you have you can go ahead and you if you want to create a new resource group you can go ahead and put a name like let's see that one e-commerce api right let's see and then we have to provide any location where you want to do a tags we will see the tags and location in the next video it is always required we have to put that option uh, so let's create this and this is the resource group created and if you see right now there is nothing inside that one if you go inside the source group section for our subscription we can see that we have now resource group and which is that e-commerce api dev uh, e-commerce api dev and east us and if you go uh, we can go ahead and start creating any resources by going to marketplace so this is what i wanted to cover now you can put all the tagging to manage that one naming convention and other details and whatever we have seen into some of the example in ppt and do that one so this is what i wanted to cover in this video few basic thing i also covered into next video i hope you will like that thank you mm -hmm.